Matt, we're on the uh, Vishram Bolly stand at Emo here 2017. This is a new product, I believe, to their range, which you're selling from Micron is, Workholding. Yeah. It's just been launched at Emo 2017. Okay, before we actually talk about uh, some of the changes to the product, what about actually explaining what this is in, in its principle? Well, it's um, a pneumatic zero point system. They've already been doing the hydraulic systems for many years, as we know, they're very famous for that. They've decided to launch a pneumatic system, so you don't need a, a hydraulic pump and it works off uh, the six bar standard air shop. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that, but in, in, in general terms, from a work holding perspective, what yep. does this do? I mean, well, show normally, us, give us a, a demonstration. Normally you would have this on the machine table and it's a way of being able to set up components offline. If you've got a single pallet machine, for example, you want to set your components offline and then be able to quickly change them in and out so the machine stays running. That's the, so although this one here is actually a hyd the hydraulic version, what we've got here is a pallet on top of the zero point, yeah? That's right, yeah. So, so the parts are here ready to be machined? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so, so this is the hydraulic version? That's the hydraulic version, yeah. This is the new pneumatic system. So all you do is simply take your, your pallet. And that's clamped. And obviously you can take the the airline off so the machine can go off and uh, and get cutting. So it's interesting because you're not actually using the air to clamp it, it's when you release it. It's to, it's to release it, yeah. So what you have so is... what's uh, the mechanics of it? How does that work? Well, it's spring-loaded inside, so the idea is that when you put the air on, it, the springs push up and open the collet, which enables you to lift your part. So you can see the collet is holding holding these. What's the, um, two things, what's the, the accuracy of this system, uh, or the repeatability from pallet to pallet? It's five microns. Five microns, okay, and what about then the clamping pressure compared from hydraulic to pneumatic? Is there any disadvantage it's, there? There isn't a lot in it, actually. Um, the new tests have, have shown that it's about three quarters of the, the hydraulic pressure. So for most people and most workshops, it would be you know, plenty. So what, what's the, the real advantage then to go in for the pneumatic? Is it purely because you could just use your airline? And well, it's, you don't need a hydraulic pump and uh, it's easier to sort of transport it from different machines. So it makes it a bit more flexible. So it, it sounds like a, na a natural progression then really to yes. make the product more yeah. popular. Make it more popular and hit a bigger market. And how many would you sell of this uh, zero point clamping, si how many of these zero point clamping systems in the UK from Micron Work um, This year we've probably sold about 50 systems. Uh, it's used a lot in the Formula One industry, a lot in uh, aerospace, medical, you know, really single pallet five axis machines and there's no reason though you couldn't put it onto a cube is there for a horizontal no we do them uh, we do cubes for horizontals we do tombstones we do they go on three axis vertical machines they can go on anything and it's quite poignant that we're here actually because you talk about engine blocks and, uh, and formula one and, and there you have an engine yeah, block on yeah. the system yeah there we do yeah that is uh, the automated system so they do a, a bigger automated it's got pallet monitoring it's got all these sort of things that you need in the, in the Formula One industry. I suppose my last question then, with something like this, of this quality and able to give you the repeatability that you mentioned, is it expensive? Um, not as expensive as some um, and cheaper than others. So it's sort of mid-range, but it's very high quality and very powerful. So price-wise, I'd say mid-range, uh, quality very high.